go. Okay guys, well, hello. Okay guys, hello, what is popping and welcome back to Okay guys, what is popping and welcome back to a, a brand new episode of Dylan Rants. This doesn't feel right. Ah! I remembered! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. You thought we were messing about today? You thought we were messing This is an iconic outfit, oh my god. <laughs> Can you genuinely imagine this was like a telly show in America, do like the big cool ones, and this this was the outfit, just imagine this. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the host, Dylan But genuinely, here we go. Welcome back to another episode of Dylan Rants. <laughs> So on today's episode, I want to talk about the fact that I think British TV is so toxic and awful that it is just, it's the worst. And I want you to be aware of that as well. The first show I want to talk about involves Scarlett Moffat. She was in Gogglebox and that, you probably know her. But she's done a show called The Tribe Next Door. Which, how this has landed on telly and how this has got through to being on telly is, it's got to be one of life's great mysteries. Here's the trailer, let's watch it together. One British family with a house move like no other. Look at the house. Look at the house. Why have they done? Is this a joke? Is it too early for a prosecco? How many cows do you think I'm worth? <laughs> York, how you have to trade and work without currency is funny to me. <laughs> Let's laugh at the underprivileged African tribe. Ha <laughs> eight cows. We don't work in cows in this country. Next on Channel 4, I know it should be like a Channel 4 advert, like this. And next week on Channel 4, we will be laughing at countries from the Middle East that still swap camels and stuff. Pfft, isn't that mad? <laughs> Anyway, here's come down with me. Good one! 21st century living side by side. What I think's really bad about it anyway, it is exploiting African cultures and tribes literally for our entertainment. But oh, look how much different these are. Let's put a council house up, isn't that No, let's not. And this is fun. So while I was editing this video, I actually found this out. The black and ethnic minority staff at Channel 4 actually urged them to stop this Racist cringe fest, but the aids it anyway. Good one. Next show is one that Caroline Flack is hosting. She's the Love Island host, and I will be getting on to Love Island, so wait there. Caroline Flack is hosting a new show called The Surgery. That sounds good. That sounds like it's gonna be good for the youth's mental health, but it's okay, because all, all TV shows go on about how much they love mental health, so. <laughs> So the surgery is basically a competition where the prize is modifying your body with plastic surgery. Yeah. That's the prize. That's the prize of this. This telly show, that, that's the prize. You get to modify your body. That's okay, I'm fine with that. Not that we should all love our bodies for who we are and try and love ourselves as much as we can for who we- No, forget that, we don't want that. We don't want any of that. Get that out. Yeah. Let's tell all these young kids and stuff that a prize and a reward is plastic surgery. Great. How are these shows being allowed to happen? How? How? Anyway, next one. Let's rattle through these because there's loads. It's all terrible. This one's called Single Town. Let's watch the trailer together. Five couples are heading to London to split up. I need space. You need space. This isn't working. We need to break up. Split up. Why are these... Let's carry on. Guided by two celebrity mentors. I'm so excited. They'll be living their best single lives. Okay. <laughs> I'm going on a date. <laughs> While their exes watch. <laughs> I'm so loyal to it. I need this time to find myself. This is horrible. This isn't... 
I don't think this is entertaining. I don't think this is funny. I think this is a genuinely nasty thing. And today on ITV2, we're going to be splitting up couples and making them feel absolutely terrible. This is not how life works. This isn't entertainment either, and you know it's not. I think this is genuinely just vile. Anyway, let's get on with the piece de resistance. What I'm going to call probably the worst show Britain has ever pumped out, Love Island. Ladies and gentlemen, please, let's talk about Love Island. One, I genuinely don't know where to start with. Well, first of all, let's just start by saying that Love Islands this year and stuff have come out and said that they really care about the mental health of the contestants and stuff, which is great. That's needed, of course. But what about the mental health of the millions of 15, 14, 16 year old girls that watch and think, I'm never gonna look like this, I feel awful. They don't really think about their mental health, do they? No. Because let's be honest, this show is just six packs, boobs, Look, look at these people who've got a better body than you could ever imagine having. Do you want to see these really attractive adults act like kids in a playground and be like, I want to pick you. I pick you. Let's have sex. What? Because that's pretty much all the show is. This is not what relationships are really like, people. And the audience that watches this are predominantly younger and they might be growing up and thinking, oh no, this is how it works. Let me change him. Or, no, no. But it's okay, because I see they care about the mental health. They said it. They said they do. And they care about the mental health of the contestants. We, we, we've covered that. Like, for example, you wouldn't catch Love Island keeping in all stupid and ridiculous things the contestants say and make them look stupid on national telly. You wouldn't catch them doing that, would you? Yeah. Essex is a continent. No, no, it's a county. A what? A country? A county. What's the difference a between a county and a country? Country. So a country is like England. Yeah. So Wales is, is in Cardiff. Not Cardiff's country. the capital of yeah, Wales. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'm from Liverpool, so I live in a country. Not Liverpool's a city. A city. Yeah. If you go on a plane and yeah. go to another place, that's still United Kingdom, Depends isn't it? Depends where. Where, yeah, where do you so, want to go? So Spain. That's not no, United that's Kingdom. Euro. The capital of France. Capital of France. Yeah. It's quite an easy one. What's it begin with? I'm not going to tell you that because it's really. I don't know. It cleared up that Edinburgh is actually Scotland last night. Is it? Oh, seriously? I didn't know. Oh my god. Dublin is Ireland. Did you know that? It's Italy and Rome. Rome is Italy. Yes. Rome is in Italy. Rome is I mean. the capital of Italy. Do you see what is I mean? It? Is Barcelona in Rome? Barcelona is in Italy. Oh my god! What? <sighs> Please tell me other people think all of this is just ludicrous. Like I have presented on TV in the past and stuff and I probably know that this video isn't gonna help me get many jobs in telly afterwards but I feel so strongly that this is so damaging and so toxic to younger people growing up in Britain right now that I, I just needed to say something. Millions of kids watch these shows. These shows. <laughs> no, please, you might me lose a phone here. Barcelona is in Italy. The capital of France. This is really... I don't know. Essex is a continent. You might lose a phone here. And it's, this isn't the real world. This isn't what the real world's like. It's not getting them used to relationships. It, nothing works like this. 99.999% of people don't look like this. Ah! God, I need to go for the lie down. <laughs> But if you do agree with literally anything I've just said, please drop a like on this video and leave a comment and yeah, remember to subscribe. If you've just come over from TikTok and subscribe to my YouTube through TikTok, hi, there's plenty more ridiculous videos like this to come and I'll probably be getting angrier as well. What? Ah! How? So stick around, subscribe and turn on, what is it, the bell notification things? Turn them on, turn them on. And let's be best friends. <laughs> and yeah, see you all soon!
thing that completely drives me mad, by the way, is blue drinks. Blue drinks should not be consumed. Blue liquids, or, or I just think of like bleach and stuff like that. We shouldn't be drinking blue liquids. You know the way like back in the day when people started smoking, they were like, oh, we didn't know it was bad for us. You must have known a bit. That's how I feel with blue drinks. We're gonna look back in the future and be like, why were people drinking blue drinks? Anyway, yeah.